the Vegas Golden Knights, expansion darlings, Stanley Cup Finals in your inaugural season. But then, oh no, things go sideways. We don't make the playoffs last season. But is the drought going to continue? Let's find out. Welcome back, hockey fans. Welcome in if this is your first time to the channel. I'm Josh. This is the Hockey Flow, and today it's Wednesday, August 24th, 2022. That's right, we're going to be talking a lot about the uh, Golden Knights on another edition of Today in Hockey. They're actually going to be the subject of our question of the day. That's right, we're back with another one. We're going to continue doing our season previews this time. Like I said, Vegas Golden Knights, it's all about you guys. I know it's only been one season without the playoffs, but uh, listening to folks around these parts, that's a drought. So are we going to snap this drought and make the playoffs? Let's find out. But before we get into that, we do have to get through today in hockey history. And then we have a big headline today, NHL 23 fans. I'm sure you guys are pumped, but we're going to check out the cover athletes. So stick around for that. Then we're going to get into the fun stuff in our Vegas Golden Knights preview, including a Jack Eichel deep dive. We got help from JFresh Hockey, some player card data. So be sure to stick around for that. If you do enjoy the content, like the video, subscribe to the channel, helps us out a ton. We're going to keep bringing you hockey videos almost every other day. Want to make sure you uh, never miss a beat. All right, today in hockey history, on this date, August 24th in 1980, a bit of history today, Peter and Anton Stasny, they defected from the Czechoslovakian national team to Canada after a 4-3 loss to Russia in Austria. Peter would go on to win the Calder Trophy that season for the Nordiques, and that's right, they did come over and play for the Nordiques. The Nordiques owner actually helped them out and helped them defect, so um, really neat to see. All right, headlines, headlines, headlines. Already teased it a little bit, but uh, we had some big NHL 23 news. Cover athletes, that's right, athletes. They released two today, or announced two, excuse me, Trevor Zegras and Sarah Nurse. And tell you what, I couldn't be happier. I love it. I know they're uh, catching some hate online, but uh, I think it's really cool. Trevor Zegras really embodies the excitement of the game. Who else would you want on the cover of your video game? And Sarah Nurse, my goodness, who else to exemplify the game of hockey than her? I absolutely love it. And if it can't be an oiler, might as well be an oiler sister. Absolutely. All right, let's get into it. Question of the day. We've done a few of these. We talked about the Maple Leafs yesterday, but uh, are the Golden Knights, are they going to get back to the playoffs this season? I know, feels like a silly question, right? They only missed the playoffs one time, and we're talking about are they going to make it back? Well, this team's been constructed very uniquely, so we're going to get into it today. Let's go ahead. We're going to go through the past state, last season, the current state, this season, including key additions and subtractions, and then we're going to dive into it. Jack Eichel. I think he's going to have a monster season. No spoilers here. We're going to get to that, but let's go through the past state first. So last season was a tough one, Knights fans. You were in the playoff race, right? Right until the very end, but she did finish with a 43, 31, and 8 record, good for 94 points. They did end up finishing 17th down there. We see that thanks to the J Fresh hockey card, team card, and we have an, a new addition, another deep dive more into the micro stats for the Vegas Golden Knights season as well. But if we're going to talk about last season, we got to talk about two things in particular injuries and the Jack Eichel trade. Injuries, number one. Injuries really did reign supreme. The, the Knights were experts in navigating the long-term injured reserve. It felt like they always had at least one player in there, and they had to do that because their cap situation is atrocious. So this team, uh, famously at this point, has been built on a win now to heck with the future attitude, and they're starting to pay for it. We'll see that in a little bit with their uh, off-season moves and moves in quotes there. But um, last season, injuries reign, uh, did reign supreme. Mark Stone, we see him 10th in scoring. He only played 37 games last season. That's tough. Um, we see uh, Max Pacioretty also injured 39 games, uh, but... We're going to see that he, he's actually out of here. Um, but the other talking point, the Jack Eichel trade, absolutely. Oh, I should have mentioned we had some tendy injury issues as well. But then the Jack Eichel trade, of course, that's the big news of this season. Traded from the Sabres for, uh, uh, excuse me, goodness, I'm, bl I'm blanking now, Peyton Krebs and uh, Alex Tuck and some draft picks. Uh, I mean, I think the Sabres did okay, but... 
you traded away Jack Eichel. And in my opinion, Jack Eichel is, is uh, he's as close to a generational talent without being a generational talent as, as you can get. And I think he's really been a product of some uh, bad Sabres teams. Um, he was in a bad situation in Buffalo. I mean, goodness, the ownership and management didn't even want to support him in his injury. Um, I get it, though. He also has caught in a little bit of a bad rep, but... We're not going to talk about Jack Eichel right now. We're going to save that for for a moment. The other big talking point for this season for me was the emergence of certain young players. I tell you what, Nicholas Waugh had an excellent season. We see 78 games, 39 points, 24 assists to go with 15 goals. He had a great first half of the season, great uh, beginning and moving into the middle. And he did peter out a bit towards the end. But as others were um, getting healthy, you know, his spot in the lineup did fall a little bit. Uh, Chandler Stevens was another one that really, really emerged, and I looked to him to have another great season. And Jonathan Marceau finished with 66 points, led the team, but where was the scoring? I know injuries were an issue. Jack Eichel didn't get to play a full season either, 34 games, but man, we need to score goals, Knights, if you guys are going to expect to make the playoffs. And then last but not, uh, most certainly not least, the 10 stats. Robin Lehner had a very respectable season. Logan Thompson, Keep an eye on Logan Thompson. I'm a big fan. He's going to get thrust into the spotlight. Sounds like he's going to get his opportunity to shine. But in limited action last season, I think he he uh, I think he performed really well. I, I look to him. I think he's going to have a solid season. So, all right, that was last season. Tough season, right? Oh, my gosh. Didn't make the playoffs. But that's all right. I think you guys are going to rebound nicely. But how nicely? So, all right, current state, 2022-2023. We're looking at this season, looking at the offseason. So, out, like I said, uh, Pacioretty. Laner is injured. He's going to miss the entire season. So, that's tough. we got to list that one. Dylan Coughlin, he left with Pacioretty to uh, Carolina. Mateus Janmark and Evgeny Dodonov are both out as well. Both of them were contributors to the team. Let's take a look. Uh, Dodonov right there, fifth in scoring. I know they tried to trade him last year at the deadline, and it fell through. uh, But he still did have a nice impact on that team team put up 43 points 20 goals you're getting rid of a 20 goal scorer you did re-sign uh, Riley Smith which is good uh, but then on the end I have to do it future considerations I know we've probably made some smaller moves and things of that nature but my goodness when it feels like your biggest addition is going to be nothing essentially that's really tough but the Knights are in a unique position. Their biggest additions this offseason are essentially going to be getting everyone back healthy. You get your captain back. Mark Stone, that is going to be instrumental. You get a full season of Jack Eichel, and he's not coming off of an injury now. He's not coming off of a serious surgery. He just gets a full offseason, gets to just do what he needs to do, feel comfortable. He knows where he's going to play. He knows his situation. Chandler Stevenson going to continue to grow. Look at this day face-off lineup. They have Jonathan Marcheseau sit, slotting in the second line. If that's really how this ends up playing out, Chandler Stevenson obviously played uh, center a lot last season and may have to do so again with Nolan Patrick out on uh, long-term injured reserve. Nicholas Waugh can, uh, can uh, uh, fill, fill that role too, absolutely, but um, I'm kind of, you know, the more I talk about it, the more I get excited about this Knights potential lineup if we have everyone in there, okay? But if we talk about the Knights and we talk about how they put this team together, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. They rushed things, and they made some win-now moves, and now they're starting to pay for it a little bit. We saw it this offseason. You were letting Max Pacioretty and uh, Dylan Coughlin walk for nothing. For nothing. Dylan Coughlin was a nice emerging young player. I'd love to talk about him in my previous points as well. We could put him alongside Colasar, Nick Waugh, um, uh, Zach Whitecloud. You know, we could put him in that conversation. He had a, a solid showing for the Knights last season, but he's gone. And he's gone for nothing. And essentially because we mismanaged the cap a little bit. Now, this is just my opinion, right? Um, it, maybe it's the Vegas attitude in him. You know, we're going to win now and we'll address the problems when they arise. And so far, they've been able to address them, right? Give them credit where credit's due. They brought Riley Smith back. Everyone thought for sure Riley Smith was going to be gone last season. They brought him back. So uh, kudos to them. Hats off to them. But who's going to be the tendy? Who is going to play the tendy position? I have Logan Thompson. I think Logan Thompson's going to have an excellent season. I really do. He showed me some really, uh, really wonderful things at the end of last season uh, in the playoffs. Even just the fact he was so upset. He hated losing. That is something you'd never want to underestimate. It's not just about loving to win. You got to hate to lose. And uh, Dylan, uh, Logan Thompson, excuse me, definitely showed me that he hates to lose. We also did a video on it. Be sure to check that one out. Five tendy options. We broke down an article from the 
the athletic. It was a lot of fun. Can Petrangelo bounce back? He is an all-world defender, right? Team Canada uh, right defender, and uh, he had a rough season last year. Let's uh, take a look where he fell in the scoring. Still fourth in scoring. 44 points from the defensive side is actually pretty good, uh, but on, uh, that's on paper. On ice, man, he made a lot of mistakes, and it was tough, but in fairness, that Knights team, they were uh, kind of an island of misfit toys at times, but uh, can he bounce back and, become, and be the uh, true all-star, the true difference maker that we know he can be? And then last but not least... Is this going to be the season of Eichel? Let's find out. All right, so here we go. Big shout out again to Jay Fresh Hockey on these player cards. Absolutely love diving deep into these. But let's take a look at Jack Eichel. So we see the stats over there, courtesy of HockeyReference.com. Big shout out to them. I removed the uh, the COVID and injury riddled season, uh, his last one in Buffalo. But if we look at the two seasons before that and then last season, his numbers are pretty good. 25 points in 34 games with Vegas, getting to getting used to a new team, a new city. He hadn't played hockey in quite some time, coming off of major neck surgery, and we see the player cards, we still see a lot of blue. Jack Eichel is an all-star. He's a great player. He's one of the best in the NHL, in my opinion, when he's firing on all cylinders. I think this is going to be the season that he really taps in and reaches that full potential. But... Why do I think that? So let's look at the talking points. I expect that war to be higher. I just talked about it. I fully expect him to be in the upper echelon of NHL players. His war last season, 86%. That's still fantastic. It's not upper echelon, but it's still better than 86% of the players in the NHL. Not bad at all, especially considering the factors we just went through. But... What's going on with that even strength offense? So the even strength offense is essentially the player's impact on scoring when his team is at even strength on offense. And according to the analytics, uh, Jack Eichel had a rough season in that regard. Is that uh, because he's getting used to new teammates? Is that because he's getting used to a new system? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I do fully expect that number to climb as, long, or as well as his uh, own personal offensive numbers and his gold numbers to, to climb. Um, but even though his uh, even strength offensive numbers were terrible, um, his setups and his passing numbers were fantastic. If we take a look at the bottom down there, see that center lane and point shot setups, he was in the upper, upper echelon of the NHL, better than 97%, and in the 96th percentile for the point shot setups. And then for his shooting, he still had the shot, and that's something, the eye test is important, folks. I love watching Knights games, especially because they're local. I don't get to see them all be unless they uh, sell out, of course, locally, or if we go see them, but uh, Jack Eichel in this season found himself in a lot of dangerous spots. It felt like he started finding himself a home on that left circle, but he was in the center of the ice a lot, and the numbers really show that. So um, it's really neat to see the analytics line up with what you see from the eye test. He found those dangerous spots on the ice. That's why we called that one out. And again, last but not least, we got to look at the passing one more time just because those numbers are absolutely beautiful. So Jack Eichel. What do we expect for this coming season? I fully expect him to have an excellent season. He's got a, a little bit of time under his belt with his new team. He's going to be having the other stars on this team coming back from injury. I think that's going to be a huge, huge thing. He had to be the focal point last season with Mark Stone out. And then even with Mark Stone coming back, he was Eichel was still always going to be the focal point, but he didn't really have anyone else to take the pressure off, right? Jonathan Marchessault is a great player, but when he's leading your team in scoring with only 66 points, there's an issue. So I think Jack Eichel's going to take that lead. I think he's going to run with it. I think the rest of the team is going to play solid as well. I think Logan Thompson is going to have an excellent season. And I tell you what, the Golden Knights... They're going to do it. They're going to bounce back, and they're going to make the playoffs this season. Jack Eichel, he's going to be top 10 in scoring. Mark it down. Well, maybe not bet on it, but I do. I think the Knights are going to have an excellent season. I think Jack Eichel is going to reach that full potential. I think he's going to cross that 100-point mark. If not, he's going to get real close. Top 10 scorers were just under 100 points last season. But that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you've made it this far and haven't subscribed yet, I really would would appreciate it. We're going to keep bringing you hockey videos almost every day. Um, but what do you guys think? Will the Knights make the playoffs or uh, nah? Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments. I do appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, all that jazz. But until tomorrow, I appreciate you all. Cheers.